I thought Al was cool. He's in for I thought he was a fed. I thought they sent the feds in to investigate us. One day I asked him, I was like, yo, so hold on a minute. So when did you figure out that I'm not the police? He was like, when I seen you make a beat, son. <laughs> Had he couldn't have been hit. I was like, oh my God, he's serious. First Alchemist beat I heard, I want to say it was, it's the realness. Right? With Cool G Rap. Yep, the real, yep, yep, the real. It was funny because I, yeah. you guys were at Soundtrack and I used to come over there. I had just one debt. And yeah, I was, that. You, you were skipping through them and you'd be like, yo, I like this one. It was the realest. And then like a couple of days later, I'd come back and have a beat there. He was like, yo, I like this one. It was the same beat. Oh, uh, yeah, it was funny. Real. I was like, yo, your man like that. Yeah, yeah, I was like 99 in Soundtrack Studio in Manhattan. But then I met Al. And I was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Son got some beats and see what he working with, you know what I mean? And it was fire. What I heard was like, wow. So we just took it from there. I was like, yeah, let's work. You know what I mean? That was a big deal. Very big deal for me. Yo, son. Why are you still in New York, man? No disrespect to New York, but you know, it's a big world, like. Seriously? The real answer? Yes. Because I spent all my money and I can't afford the money. <laughs> <laughs> It's affordable for me out here. Which is crazy because most people cannot afford to live in New York, man. It's like the opposite. Nah, I just, I, I like New York, man. You know what I'm saying? It's something about New York I, I can't leave, man. When you think about New York, you think about getting your purse snatched, getting mugged. <laughs> it's dangerous, man. So it just our music fits that vibe because that's how we grew up. I was so heavily inspired, you know, like by the sound that came from New York and the people I looked up to. New York has always been like this now I understand, and I'm a product of it too, like a kind of a melting pot. To being a native New Yorker is like, there's so few of them, and I love those people who are like straight New Yorkers because you really get the essence of New York, but most of New York is people like how I was. It's people who come here for the opportunity or the, the inspiration. The first tour, and Family values. Family values. I remember, I'll tell you, I remember because prior to, to that, you know, I started DJing, Damn. and I, I remember Prior to me DJing for them, it was around the murder music. I remember y'all would use like Scratch. Yeah, Scratch was coming on the road with us yeah. sometimes. We would switch it up. We didn't have a permanent DJ. Though. Right. And then I right. remember, God bless, you know, dead Chris Slidey. Remember he came out of nowhere and was like, yo, you guys are going on tour next week. And they made me the DJ. And it was funny because we pressed up vinyl. I still have them. Instrumentals like acetates of the right. album. And I was going off of vinyl in stadiums. The Crazy. same stage at like Run DMC, Jam Master J was still alive. And I remember setting up like mad embarrassed, like, yo, because the needle was skipping. Like, yeah. it, but we killed it. If you see the footage, some of it's out there. We had the orange jumpsuits on. It was like they came out like they got broke out of jail. <laughs> we was walking to the crowd. I was looking at her. I was looking at her. I said, yo, son, we look like astronauts right now. I, take I remember. You were like, you know, there's always one astronaut, white one, and one black one. <laughs> That's the first time I seen rock star groupie, the you know, rock star level. I was like, hold up, this is, we need to do more of this. <laughs> what would be the illest combination for a meal that you can make out of the bodega right now, son? I mean, you, I mean, my favorite is two dollar heroes, you know what I mean? They don't even, they probably like six dollars now. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can make, man. I can get busy in here this stuff, man. Like, I can make a nice hot meal, you think it came from the restaurant. Do they even, <laughs> do they even have bodegas in LA? You know, that's a funny thing you ask, P, because I don't believe that they do. Bay Cities, though, so we have Bay Cities. Oh, Remember the yeah, sandwich yeah, spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's like an excellent sandwich place. They got like gourmet, go everything in there. Yeah. Gourmet crackers, yeah, potato every, chips. Yeah, some real fly. fly $15 shit. potato chips. Yeah, that's the equivalent of a bodega. <laughs>